Welcome back to another MCAT Mnemonic Monday. My name is Ken and I'm an MCAT expert with Med School Coach. Today we have a biochemistry mnemonic on the intermediates of glycolysis. Glycolysis is an extremely important biochemical pathway that you really, really need to know for the exam. Here we've outlined the 10 steps of glycolysis. You are responsible for the names of all the intermediates of these steps. We'll go ahead and walk through them briefly. First, you start with glucose. Glucose is phosphorylated to form glucose 6-phosphate, which is then isomerized to fructose 6-phosphate, which is phosphorylated again to form fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is then split into two 3-carbon sugars, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, G3P, and dihydroxyacetone phosphate, DHAP. Dihydroxyacetone phosphate is then also converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, so we end up with two molecules of G3P. G3P is then phosphorylated to form 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, that is then converted to 3-phosphoglycerate, and then 2-phosphoglycerate, and then phosphoenolpyruvate, and finally 2-pyruvate. It's a lot of molecules here and a lot of names. So our mnemonic is going to be very helpful for you. The mnemonic has three parts. First is girls get fine food. So you can see here, girls get fine food. That's for the first four molecules. Next we have gentlemen dine girls. Gentlemen dine girls. Notably, gentlemen dine refers to the two products that you form when you split fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into two smaller sugars. Finally, we have boys prefer to pick up pepperoni pizza. Note that two and up aren't part of the mnemonic, they're just there to help fill in the sentence. So we can see here, boys prefer to pick up pepperoni pizza. So that's our mnemonic for memorizing the intermediates of glycolysis.